My name is William Alexander. Um, I'm from Modesto, California. Uh, I've been homeless two, two, two years. Uh, drugs played a major part. I was always into the drugs, always into to some, some, something wrong. I came to Redwood City um, after I had left Delancey Street. Um, I, I came here with a friend and I ended up falling back in bad habits. I was homeless in Redwood City about two months. I was at a standstill. I came to a point where I can't do this on my own. Um, I finally asked for help where Pastor David and Officer Chris showed up at a campsite that I was at. My name is Chris Rasmussen and I'm the Homeless Outreach Coordinator for the Redwood City Police Department. Uh, on this particular day, we were um, going to check out another homeless camp and we noticed a sleeping bag in the, the Cloverleaf area uh, and so you know Pastor Dave said hey looks like someone's over there so we we stopped and we walked up and and we saw a sleeping bag and and we we met William and the look on his face was, was utter surprise um, why are the police here um, in fact I had to hold up my hands and say hey we, you know we're, we're here to help and um, he, he, he told us a story about how he had been praying and, and, and talking to himself about you know, being done with the homeless life. It was a pretty amazing experience because when we got there, um, we made some phone calls. It seemed like every phone call we made to Life Moves and to Bill Morrison, our outreach, everybody answered the calls. They, they came right to the scene where we were at and we started to proceed to get Mr. William uh, into uh, a shelter for the night and then he was able to be taken to City Team San Francisco the following day. And it was just very amazing how well it, it played out for us. Um, I'd been there approximately at that site for about a week and a half. Um, mad as hell, or I'm sorry, mad, mad, just mad at myself, blaming everybody. Um, finally, when I broke down, I, I, I asked for help and, and I asked God to help me out. About an hour later, maybe two hours, Officer Chris and Pastor David showed up and they showed up with, there was an, uh, a demeanor about it, the whole thing of sincerity. The sincerity was there and I remember Officer Chris saying that, you know, if you want help, I'm gonna help you and I, and, and I challenged him to help me. And I remember him laughing, saying, I like this, because this is what we're, we're about. And within two hours, my, my cell phone was paid. Um, we uh, got into a, uh, to a shelter for the night, and then within the next day, I was in City Team program in San Francisco. City Team was a, it was a, it was a drug and alcohol program that was religious based. Okay, um, they got me down there. They gave me an intake. They gave me an interview, and they accepted me that morning. It was a six-month program with a 30-day blackout. Okay, um, I'm currently at the Walden House, which I am set to to complete in two weeks. Um, I was given an opportunity by. Street Life Ministries and by the outreach with Officer Chris. And if it wasn't for that opportunity, I probably would have ended up, I, there's no doubt about it, I would have ended up going back to jail and probably in prison. I was at that last edge. But this opportunity doesn't come along very often. I thank God every day for Officer Chris and for Pastor David for, for this opportunity. and. I'm gonna run with it. I'm gonna take this as far as I can take it. Um, he just looks like somebody who's gotten a whole new restart in his life. And he was so grateful and so amazingly blessed for, for what's going on in his life. It was, to me, doing outreach as much as I do outreach in, in, as, with the police department and as a, a pastor, you don't see a lot of people, the light bulb turn on and they actually accept it. You know, I, I would think that out of 10 or 15 people, you might get one. And it's so it's refreshing for me 
as a pastor to see somebody and uh, watch their life just transform right in front of your face. Most people don't see this side of, of the story. They, they see the, the camps and they see the homeless on street corners and they see uh, the media and how the media has portrayed homelessness. Um, but this is where we really um, can have an impact with the homeless community and, and this takes time. For all the people that we, we come in contact with and we attempt to offer services, um, you know, we get one person and that's a win. That's definitely a win in my book. And it makes our efforts uh, even more special because it makes it worthwhile. We're out there doing a good thing. Um, even though it may not be seen uh, totally by the public, um, we are making a difference. We are definitely making a difference. For the other addicts and, and alcoholics or anybody out there, if you need help, you got to ask for it. And don't be afraid to ask for it because it's there. The opportunity is there for you to grasp it. The journey leading up to where I'm at now was hard, but this right here, I think it, it, it's hard if you make it hard. There is hope for everyone who wants to do this, but they got to want it. They got to be done with that lifestyle to the point of where they're at their last end because there's no hope, there is no hope in that lifestyle. If they wanna change their life, they can. There's definitely, and the police department ain't our enemy, it's our friend. And I, and I got that opportunity. Um, thank you to Street Life Ministries, and thank you to Redwood Police Department, and Officer Chris, Pastor David, and Bill.